Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller, and today it is pouring down. It is pouring down rain. April showers, you know. Uh, I am going to check out what is advertised as a storage unit clean-out. I don't know if it's a, at someone's house, like one of those kind of portable storage units or if it's at a facility, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go there. They have it advertised as brand new plus size clothing, shoes, purses. So I don't know the brands, I don't know anything like that, but I figure it's worth a shot. It starts at eight, I'm gonna try to show up early. I don't know if they're still going to be having it because of the rain, but I'm going to take a chance. It's not that far away from me. And it seems like an interesting opportunity if it pans out. I was going to go to a big, uh, like a big sale in the parking lot of Steel Stacks in Bethlehem. And that is at, you know, basically the industrial area where they used to make all the Bethlehem steel. Uh, they have this huge parking lot and they have, they were going to have about 200 vendors there, but due to the rain, it got canceled until May. So not headed there today. So there's not much going on since it's Easter weekend. So I am going to check this out. I might head to a different thrift store that should have 50% off today. And otherwise it's just going to probably be going home and getting things listed but first I'm gonna see see what's out there this morning so let's go check wow it is pouring out here all right guys so this morning was a mess it was downpouring I wasn't really able to get any more footage than that little tiny clip and the backstory on it was this couple bought a storage locker. It was the first one they ever bought. I guess this is something that they are going to get into and they plan on doing more of. So that's good. Uh, they asked me to leave my number with them. So when they buy future lockers, they're going to call me first before they have a sale and see if I want to buy anything. So that was an awesome connection made. Now this was supposed to start at eight o'clock. I got there at 740. So I got there 20 minutes early and there was one other person there and i know her uh, so she was buying a bunch of stuff now she doesn't sell online but she sells to someone who does sell online so she's kind of like the middleman in that aspect uh sometimes she does have her own yard sales though i've actually purchased stuff from her at some of her yard sales so i'm going to show you what i got i got a lot of men's stuff some of it I really took a chance with because I don't sell a whole lot of men's, but this stuff looked interesting to me. And I like to pick up things that are kind of interesting and unique. It's a learning experience, if anything. Uh, I'm sitting outside again and my allergies, I already feel it like, I feel my allergies acting up. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. Um, I spent $72 for everything I'm about to show you. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna grab, grab that, that was on the floor. Okay, so we'll get this out of the way. This is kind of big and bulky. This here is a pull, pull cue, pull stick holder. And the stick inside looked pretty interesting to me. It looks like it's in very good condition. I really don't know anything about pool sticks, to be honest. I did look this up when I got home and it looks like these sell new for about $60 shipped. So this one is used, but it looks very gently used. It's a Viper, uh, let's see here, a Viper 20 ounce, whatever that means. Uh, I guess that's a weight. They probably have different weights. Uh, the tip of it looks to be okay. Don't really know a lot about them. It says pool. Well, I'm not going to say that, but you can read it. 
So it's got that design on there and the rest of it's got it got a kind of neat design. So I think what I will do with this is probably list it for about $39.99 plus shipping. I think that this is uh, going to be able to go into one of, oh, Jesus, <laughs> just whack myself in the head with that. Uh, yeah, you know me. <laughs> I'm not dropping something. I'm doing something. Anyway, this um, should fit into one of those USPS priority mail triangular boxes to ship. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's too long to do that. I think it'll fit. It, it's got a couple things of billiard chalk in here in the little front pouch. So yeah. That should even $35. I don't know, $35, $39, something like that. Maybe $37.99. That's kind of one of my one of the numbers I like to use as well for some unknown reason. So then I picked up these. These are the brand Me Too. I've sold similar pairs for about $27.99. These I'll probably list for cheaper. They do have a little tiny scuff at the toe. I'll probably list these maybe around $20. Uh, I picked up a pair of Vans now. They had a ton of shoes, but the woman who beat me there bought a lot of them. She's always buying the shoes up. <clears throat> so these vans are in pretty good condition gently used they are a kids just glittery silver glittery they are in the original box so that's good so i have the style name and everything else even though i don't even think they have a style name i think it just says silver glitter this i put a hole through accidentally with my little hand cart type thing that i use at the <laughs> at the thrift store oops and these have a couple little spots, some water spots on them because it was like pouring out when I was trying to look at these shoes. These are a pair of Ralph Lauren, genuine leather lining. These are just like a mock, mock toe, patent leather shoe. These are pretty nice condition. They're, they're gently used. They're smaller sizes too. The, like these I believe are a, uh, let's see here, a six. Most of the shoes look to be pretty small. I passed on quite a few because they didn't look that interesting to me. Okay, so then I picked up this coach. I believe this is a Madison Lindsay style. It is in really nice condition. These sell for, it, it just varies. I think condition makes a big difference, but they sell pretty commonly between 60 and 120. So I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna list this at yet. It is pretty clean. So I think this one's gonna be closer to, well, it's got a few marks in there. I don't know. I think it'll probably be around the $70 mark. I think that's what I will list that at. All right, so then I picked up this vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I see the hell figure thing there. It's just like a windbreaker type thing. Now this definitely has some flaws that I did not initially realize. It's got, and I'll tell you, it was dark. This, all the clothing was inside of this trailer on their property and it was dark. Like the man was trying to hold a light to shine it in, you know, the direction that I was looking. But there's, there's wear to the piping on the sleeve and there's also where, like if you lift up where the where the hat is in here, there's where to like the inside of that and everything. I mean, I'm hoping I can still get something for it. All right, this guy's, this says Boff, B-O-F-F. -F. This is a XL, it looks bigger than an XL, but this is some type of vest. If anyone knows See, sometimes I take chances on stuff like this just because it's a learning experience. It looked interesting to me. I don't know what kind of a vest this is. At first, it almost looked like a uh, like a bulletproof vest type thing. But then, of course, upon feeling it, it's definitely not stopping any bullets. That's for sure. But it's got all this Velcro around it. It's like, I don't know, it's very tactical-like. 
to me. Got a little pocket up here. If anyone knows anything about this, especially, you know, maybe like my male viewers might know, let me know, drop it in the comments what the heck this thing is. I actually got two of them. That one is gray and this one is a, this one's a navy blue. Also same size, same brand. So yeah, let me know, let me know. Another sip of my coffee. Mm. All right, then I picked this up, thought it looked interesting. Moscow, it's original tough stuff, UB tough jacket. I believe it's leather. I'll have to look, it's uh, 2XL, like an army green color, USSR, USA, kind of like a bomber jacket. It's, it's in pretty decent condition. And I'm gonna look inside, I think it is leather. I mean, this thing, if this thing's not leather, I don't know. Yes, it is genuine leather. So I just thought that was pretty cool. I did try to look this up too, and I saw two not, um, not really similar, but the same brand, just like different designs. And they were listed kind of high, but none really in the solds. So I'm not sure. I think this is probably probably more vintage. Let's see. See where I list that and how much I list it for. Now this this is a well it's a fake Kuji. This is not real. And initially I it didn't feel like one, but then I saw the tag and I was like, "Okay, maybe it is." But actually I think the first I think on the genuine ones, I don't think it's blue. I think the first letter might be yellow. Oh, I can't remember, but I mean, it's got a couple very like Kuji like things. Like it's got these little, little dips in the, in the knitting and whatnot. But I mean, this tag says made in Australia. And then there's a tag on the inside that says made in Lebanon. So Clearly this one's, this one's a fake, but it still has a cool pattern. So I'd still like to list this somehow. Uh, maybe I'll just list it and not, not list the brand. I'm not really sure how to kind of get around that, but it's still a cool sweater and I'd like to still place it in someone's hands instead of having it go to the landfill. So I'm moving on this next piece is a game 2x it's like a fraternity jacket it's got leather leather sleeves and then this is like a fabric uh not sure where it's from exactly i'll try to look that up and i picked this up because first of all i mean it was the jackets were like $3 a piece. Like I said, everything came to $72. But when I was, you know, first going in and asking her like what prices were and whatnot, you know, she said $3 a piece. So, and I believe I just heard somewhere recently, I can't remember if it was something I saw on YouTube or it might've been on a podcast I was listening to. I, I can't remember where, but I heard something about fraternity jackets being good. So I figured I would give this one a shot. So I picked it up. It's a big size, so it's a good size, right? Then, oh, this is this is like really heavy. I picked up this pair of Power Source leather goods, size 42. This is a pair of men's leather overalls. I mean, these things are pretty big. I can't even like fit them all in here in, in the thing, but I mean, they're in very nice condition. There's a couple of minor issues like this right here might even scrape off. There's a little bit of wear here and there, but I figured these would be great for a biker. 
they are heavy. And then I also picked up this, it's kind of like an orangish color. It's kind of showing up red in the, in the thing here, but let's see what these are. These are also power source. These are a size 40. And these, I mean, nobody's gonna miss you wearing these, right? But they also look in, in good condition. So I scooped those up. I will give those a whirl. I don't see a whole lot like these listed. I tried to look these up as well. Uh, I'm going to probably list these at about $100 each. So then I picked up, this is just a women's. They had a couple pieces. Fire Los Angeles. It's like nothing crazy, but I thought it was kind of cute for summer. Just a strapless dress. It came from guessing by this tag it came from Burlington Coat Factory. It's just kind of cute. And all right, then I got these. Check these out. These are like kind of cool. These are UMK NBA jeans. <laughs> I didn't look these up, but I thought they were really cool. These definitely look like, you know, 90s to me. But it's got the Wizards, the Lakers, the Kings, the Nets. It's got all these different teams embroidered all over the jeans. Like, literally all over. Like, up and down the legs and everything and I just thought that they were super cool so I hope someone's gonna love these and what size are they oh a size 40 so that's pretty neat and then I grab these I mean this stuff I'm gonna throw this stuff in the wash it's all kind of damp just because of the weather conditions these are I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce this, so I'm not going to try, but I'm just going to show it to you. And these are kind of neat. Like, the, I feel like the front, the front is kind of neat on these. They do actually have another, another button. It's not the same button, but it, it does appear to be authentic to these jeans. They both have the same marking. So I got those and they even they have like these neat side pockets that are kind of deep. I don't know, but I think these are nineties as well. And then the final is this. Yes, this is the final item. This is super cool. If you ask me, this is also power source. This is an XXL. This is leather. This is a full leather, like, check this. I mean, long sleeves and everything. These are, uh, they were tucked in there. This is a full leather suit. I mean, what? Now, it's got a couple issues, a little bit of dirt. I mean, this guy was probably out biking with this thing or whatever, but that can be cleaned up. Probably not by me. I don't want to mess it up, but I think that's really cool. So that, that guy's probably going to be getting listed closer to 200 with best offer and I'll see how it goes. So that is it guys i hope you like this haul i was super excited to find this stuff i i just i think it's just a bunch of cool stuff and i think it's gonna do well so again if you guys know what those bests are let me know drop it in the comments below let me know what you guys think of this stuff um let me know if you think it's cool because i think it's cool thanks so much for watching 
Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Comment. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Lots of stuff coming this summer, guys. Thanks. Until next time. Bye.